Today I'm going to be talking about art, decolonization, and language. As a bilingual person, I understand how language has the power to transport you to different psychological spaces. I also have come to recognize the power of visibility for language in everyday space. The artworks I'm showing you today by Patrick Cruz and Joy T. Arcand engage with language in ways that contribute towards anti-colonial imaginings and decolonial discourse in Canada. Decolonization is a word that we hear more and more every day as people living in Canada. It's significant to the current cultural moment. While Indigenous nations and land defenders have been doing decolonial work for hundreds of years, and as they are doing currently to protect Wet'suwet'en territory, the broader Canadian consciousness has engaged with decolonial discourse more so in recent years. Within the art world, decolonial is a word used to describe artworks and art practices, but what does this word really mean? What might art's role be in anti-colonial anti and decolonial movements? 500 years of colonialism has normalized this power structure, making it invisible to many of us. Colonialism has a hold on our Colonialism has a hold on everything from history and national narrative to knowledge, culture, and language. Many theorists and activists describe the process of decolonization as including a divestment of culture, knowledge, and language from colonial power. It's important to also recognize that decolonialization is linked to revolution, resulting in the expulsion of colonial governments from territory. Other activists also argue that Movements using the word decolonial that are not focused on the repatriation of indigenous lands and lives ultimately detract from decolonial work. Now let's look at the art. On your left, there's a work by Patrick Cruz. We are looking at his visual mythologization of culture, knowledge, culture, language, and history. He remixes Roman orthography, occult symbols, and pre-colonial Tagalog script to imagine alternate realities, subvert the colonial path of history, and subverts the colonial path of history leading to this current present. In Arcan's work here on Future Earth, she complicates temporality and makes a claim to the Canadian landscape. Instead of imagining her photos as potential futures, she presents them as alternate presents. She imagines different paths of coloniality and decoloniality by editing Cree syllabics into the landscape to imagine indigeneity widely represented. My research is motivated by a belief in the power of art to activate critical consciousness, also understanding that mis misusing the word decolonial can detract from decolonial work. I research to make a case that art's power lies in its potential to reimagine, reclaim, and express decolonial histories, presence, and futures. Thank you.